Yo, what's up, CCG community? Guess what? Yes, CCG released the patch early for us players so we can have a little, little teaser regarding the new content. The most important one right now is going to be Hydra. And I just wanted to showcase what team I'm using for the current 10th stage. Right now, they lock floor 11 and 12. Which I don't mind because you know it gives people to dairy craft with floor 10 and see what the damage out output is from um, H10. So let's just check it out. What team am I using? I wanted to showcase you guys exactly what team I'm using, and this team will possibly change over time um, as the new patch comes out. And uh, maybe I might only use one holy source, and maybe I might go the multi-hit route. There's a couple ways that you can go from approaching H12. You can go. The monster hit route, which I think a lot of players are going for, so you can use units like Arcanist, Demonic Swordsman, Shaman, or you can just so uh, screw it. I'm gonna use my Lair team, right? Lair Holy Swordsman is a great unit. You uh, as long as your Holy Swordsman has enough crit rate, he has a chance to proc every time he hits or every time he crits. His skill one ignores defense, and his skill two has a possibility to stun um, for a chance to stun throughout the trash waves, and um, yeah, there's nothing much to it. Literally, you use your lair team, you use Harpy to heal your team, you use Golem for the shield, since the boss does do a multi-hit. The shield is not that effective, but it is effective. It's like a, out, out of like a 10 scaling, the shield probably helps like, out, out of every 10 runs, it'll probably help like every 3 or 4 runs. And the reason being is because... Uh, he needs to be attacked in order for the shield to proc. But the most important part is to have shield around your Holy Swordsman as much as possible. And even though it might not be time all the time, as 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 you can see that that multi hit, he has a he has a um, skill two multi hit that does three attacks. So that shield will help your team survive, or well, not even your team, but your two Holy Swordsmen to survive, because you want to be building your Holy Swordsman on attack or damage attack. So with that being said. Um, Harpy is going to be built on speed, HP, HP, uh, Golem is on triple HP, and Athena is on speed, HP, HP, with a turn order of Athena, Double Holy, Harpy, and then Golem. And this team has failed. Um, I ran it about probably like close to 100 times now, and probably failed like 95%, like 5% of the time. So 95% of the time it didn't fail. And the main reason again is because Har Harpy is there to keep on healing and healing and healing. Now I did try alternatives such as, I tried three Holy Swordsmen, I replaced Golem, I replaced Harpy, and I was able to get a 48 second clear here, but it was pretty inconsistent. And the reason was because sometimes they'll die during the trash waves. Um, if like, they don't crit or they don't proc. So yeah, that's pretty much the team. I'm actually going to cancel out this run. And I'm going to show you guys the runes quick. And yeah, that's pretty much the team that I'm using for now. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If not, maybe you guys wait for the H12 team. And maybe this team might change up. But this is the runes. I have on around 20k HP. And then around 600 to 700 defense. And then it's on attack, crit damage, attack. Um, same thing with my holy, other Holy Swordsman, attack, crit damage, attack, around around 20,000 HP, 600 defense, and around 60%, 60 to 70% crit, since they crit themselves um, anyways, and then you put them as a crit lead. Golem is pretty typical, HP, 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 speed, HP, HP, my bad. Full conflict, phone conflict once again, speed, HP, HP. HP, speed, HP, HP, and then Athena being speed, HP, and HP. Now, ideally, you probably will want them to put, you might want to put them on defense, and the reason is because Hydra's skill 1, I believe, does damage based off of enemies lost HP. So the more HP you have lost, the more damage the enemy is going to do. So, instead of HP, you can safely go with defense percent as well, depending on what runes you have, it's not going to kill you. But yeah, that was my team. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.